Snow before election day, freezing temperatures, another hurdle for people in the city of Bishkek going to the polls to vote in parliamentary elections. Turnout is expected to be dangerously low. In Kyrgyzstan, doubts over the legitimacy of elections can quickly turn into violent protests. Discontent over rising prices, the slow pace of promised change, frustrations that rural and urban voters share. At a memorial dedicated to Kyrgyz people killed in past revolutions, many say they won't vote this time. The gap in trust between them and their leaders too wide to cross. What makes us feel sorry is that laws are not working. Even if we say this to the authorities, the legal system doesn't work. They don't listen to us. Even if we have our own coal, our own gold, our own water, we are not in control of our resources. This is why we don't trust any member of parliament or any president. We're against all of them. Those in the president's inner circle say it's too soon to pass judgment, and undoing decades of corruption will take more time. The Kyrgyz Republic has grown up. You know, there are adults in the room, and uh, uh, it will be a very confident uh, and competent government. And our main goal is uh, to improve efficiency of the state. It's not going to be easy, but also we accept, I accept the skeptical domestic opinion. To make lasting change, the president will need support in parliament. The election will see Kyrgyz people vote in 90 new MPs down from 120. But even in its weakened state as a smaller part of a new shared system of power, Kyrgyzstan's parliament matters. Sabir Japarov came uh, to power uh, following controversial events last year, and he needs to gain a broader legitimacy within society. If he can um, deliver on his promise to conduct fair elections um, and ensure uh, that um, the parliament uh, represents society as a whole, he might um, enjoy a legitimacy for a longer period of time sufficient for him to conduct the reforms that he seeks. The government is keen to avoid the violence of protests of the past. And with polls due to open on Sunday, the country's security service says it's rounded up 15 suspected coup plotters, allegedly planning an armed overthrow of the government. The raids a show of strength, seen by many as a warning to anyone hoping to contest election results on the streets. A rubber stamping parliament marched towards one man rule, preservation of democracy. For voters, right now these kinds of political concerns are secondary to more basic needs. This country is in the grips of an energy crisis and throughout the campaign, voters have been asking all the candidates the same question. What is being done to make sure there is enough power for them to stay warm because winter is coming? And days before the election, winter is already here. Zain Basravi, Al Jazeera, Bishkek.